related to the TikTok challenge that shows people step by step how to steal some models of Kia and Hyundai. As we told you first at four, Jamie, the trend has contributed to hundreds of stolen cars reported in Charlotte alone. And all new now at six o'clock, WBTV's Lowell Rose talks to a cybersecurity expert on important conversations to have with your teenager about social media trends. Lowell, what did you learn today? Well, first of all, that expert told me that this was an unfortunate incident that happened here in South Charlotte involving that 15 year old teenager who allegedly stole this car and died days later in that same vehicle here along this stretch of road. The TikTok challenge has come along and shown folks how to be able to uh, steal these vehicles relatively quickly. Chris Furtick, the VP of Client Solutions for Fortalist Solutions, tell me Kia Hyundai vehicles have been stolen in as little as 30 seconds using this challenge. Through February of this year in Charlotte, nearly 700 vehicles have been stolen, 355 Kia Hyundai thefts, over a 1,200% increase from this time last year. In 2022, only 26 Kia Hyundai thefts had occurred by this time. Over the past six to nine months, uh, these Kia and Hyundais, and not all of them have been affected, but they have a, a relatively large increase in them being stolen. And it's due to the manufacturer's design. This raises the question of parenting kids and teens during the era of social media trends. We have to train them to, to think with a critical eye before they do these type of challenges. We need to let our children know that it's okay to walk away when their friends or someone else are, are behaving in a way that's potentially criminal or dangerous. When it comes to the TikTok challenge and thefts in Charlotte, CMPD tells me the top five cars are the Hyundai Elantra, Hyundai Sonata, and Kia Optima, Forte, and Soul. The expert tells me there has been a failure with social media and parents, and that needs to change to help our young people. They also need to understand that even if they see something on TikTok or any other social media, that, that has real consequences, uh, potentially even death. Now, CMPD tells me that these cars, these Kias, and these Hondas involved in these thefts have been the kids with that traditional turnkey that we've seen in all our cars and not the higher ends that have the push start option to start their cars. Now, the manufacturers of these cars have released updates to these vehicles to help to reduce the chances of them being stolen. But it's up to the owner to go to the dealership to get that updated. Reporting live in South Charlotte, Lowell Rose, WBTV, on your side. Uh, Lowell, thank you. All new here at 6 o'clock, expensive metal. Right